Uh, <laughs> you're, you're making excuses. Well, uh, I you know, can I just waste time I can up the here? Tone. Uh, well, we do have the uh, bus potential for you. Oh, no. 95%. Like, well, it's not that high. <laughs> but it does kind of look like some of my scores in high school, so I'll give you an idea. <laughs> I'll show you in a second. All right, Sandia Peak, all is quiet for now. Some high clouds out there at this point, filtered sunshine. Tomorrow we're headed for a similar deal. You may notice one little change tomorrow, and it will be subtle because it won't be in the temperature. It'll be in the wind. The winds will be up a little bit, especially across the east side of the state, and that's sort of an indication of things to come eventually. But a nice shot here looking down to the valley floor and up in Taos as we close in on Christmas. Some pretty cool stuff around the Taos Plaza from the Real Southwest Cam. Dot com. Nice looking stuff there. We could use some snow on the ground in Taos, and that'll become a little bit of a possibility into the weekend. We do have some cloud cover across that northern third of the state, especially. Other parts of the state have got some high clouds from time to time, but nothing that's making much of a difference. Here in the city, we're at 58 degrees. Winds not a factor at this point across the northern half of the state and into southwestern Colorado. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s, some 60s around Tucum Carry, and 50s and 60s down to the south. All right, we've got the moisture working its way into central California. A lot of this is being wrung out over the mountains to our west, so all we're getting is a little bit of high cloud cover with most of the action rolling to the north and again drying out as it heads in our direction. But that does start to change Sunday into Monday, so let's talk about that. And here is your storm report. The storm is off the Pacific Coast. Sunday through Monday is the time frame we're watching. We're going to get much colder conditions. That's a certainty. We're going to see some gusty winds at times as well. And some snow in the mountains and especially the northeast will be a possibility. But we're basing this bus potential on mainly the fact that just a corner of the state is likely to get hit, mainly just the east slopes of the northern mountains in the northeast. This is not the kind of track that can help us statewide, and here's why. Warm conditions over the next couple of days, really even through Friday, we're still going to see things relatively warm with those temperatures about 15 to 20 degrees above average, especially for tomorrow. But coming into Friday, you'll start to notice the temps come down a little bit here. And then Saturday and Sunday, the temps really drop off significantly. Now, yesterday, it looked like the storm track would drop into portions of Arizona and then cross the state. That is no longer the case. Now it looks like the storm curls through the northeast. So that mainly means snow showers, very cold conditions and probably not a big time snowstorm. Now, could this thing be okay for the east slopes of the northern mountains? It could. In fact, there's some areas that could get six plus inches of snow if it works out right, but you'll notice in the seven day forecast, the snow is not as prolific as it was even 24 hours ago. Places like Durango won't see as good a chance at picking up snow as you would have with more of a westerly storm track. 50s and 60s across the northwest for tomorrow, and temperatures drop very significantly by Sunday with a high of 39. 72 in Tier C, 69 in Glenwood, 66 in Silver City. Temps getting cooler into the weekend. 70s for the most part around Roswell, low 80s in Carlsbad. Dry forecast for southeastern New Mexico. Northeast, this is going to be interesting here because we're going to see temperatures still fairly warm on Saturday, but much colder Sunday with a chance at some snow. Same deal in the northern mountains. The farther east you go on Sunday, the better chance you're going to have. So places like Eagle Nest, Mora, and Angel Fire will get a chance to get some additional snow out of this storm. We've still got to nail down the track a little bit more, but right now it does not look like a great storm track for bringing widespread snow to any portion of New Mexico. Warm again here in the metro area for tomorrow. And then we start to cool. The one thing we're going to get here in the city, it's going to feel like winter Sunday into Monday. It's not going to look like snow, unfortunately. Okay, bummer, man. Yeah. Yep. Sports is next.